perfectly viable. I mean, not not that it's not viable, just Ooh, you yourself can kind of be the windows of opportunity. Another huntress. I heard somebody say once that the comp teams, like the really skilled teams, just throw pallets without really yeah, it's greeting so, them. So the thing is with that is they're coordinated to do so. Because, uh, yeah, it's actually proven to when you pre-drop pallets and you're just good enough, that's how you win games. You're not wrong. Pro teams will, they'll just pre-drop pallets no matter what. Because they know people are always going to be on generators. The only time someone will be off a generator is to take a protection hit. So yeah, when playing in Swift, things are kind of broken. Is that that yeah? That's another thing. How the hell do you win a game by only pre-dropping pallets? Pre-dropping pre just right. meaning meaning just throwing them like as the killer is chasing you. Yeah, you don't even try to loop or mind game. You just drop it. And then what? Try to run to the next loop? Yeah. It's like... Because if you think about it, it wastes time for the killer. Because they have to break it. And they're and the survivor's not injured. So the thing is... Uh, in pro teams, it's actually very hard to hit someone with an M1. That That's how hard it is for killers and how survivor-based this game is. Like... You can't, rarely, rarely you'll see someone hit with an M1 in a tournament. Well, she's sort of just choosing the camp. <laughs> These she's type throwing, of games are boring. And she's throwing a hatchet all the way at me on the generator. So, so right here, this is a, t you could tell this is a, a very sweaty killer, by the way. Because they're just choosing to camp with Huntress in a dead zone, which is virtually impossible to get unless you just trade. So yeah, we practically already lost this game. Because we can't get a save, basically. Yeah, because of... Like when you're playing against Huntress, depending on where you get hooked, and they just decide to camp, that person's kind of impossible to save without a trade. And the thing is, uh, he didn't last very long in chase, so he didn't manage to waste time. So, wow. three gens, three survivors. Is, are they hooked in a, you're hooked in a dead zone now? No, no. There's like two loops around me. She's camping but she's still you? just going to camp, which is... Honestly, this playstyle is so boring. It's, I mean, it's so goddamn boring. Who wants to play with this? I'm gonna just kill myself and hug. Wait, don't, don't do that. Oh, she, it, she's coming fine. for me. No, she's like proxy camping. She's, she's at me right now. I, I don't like these type of games. They're boring. She's just gonna. She was. Because the other person wasn't coming to get me because she also assumed the same thing. Who wants to play against a camping huntress? I asked the most boring thing ever. She threw me on the floor. Yeah, because she's probably going for a 4K. Because she. That type of player. I have yeah, a, it's a Russian player. They I have unbreakable like though. And so she wants to force the. Or who knows? Maybe just let you guys live or something. I don't know. I didn't wiggle, and she just threw me at the hook.
Are you watching? What is she doing? Uh, I'm just back in lobby, tabbed out, watching a YouTube video. I I can't. I hate this type of games. Uh, as, like I can't. I'm like you play Huntress just to camp. What's the point? What is? Can you like, tell your friend that I have Unbreakable? Like, don't worry about me. I don't know what they want to do, yeah. but they're coming for me, but... <laughs> She's just throwing, like, hatchets across the whole map. She might even just be farming for the simple fact that I killed myself, but... I mean, you already camped one person and then tunneled them out of the game. That's... Boring. Very boring. I'll just kill myself and hook. I'm like, hey, you wanna you wanna camp? I'll just go next. I mean, I understand camping, but you're camping huntress trying to one hook people. At that point you might as well just play Bubba if you have that mentality. I don't understand why someone would have that mentality on a hunter. She probably has cooldown add-ons. Like the green wind-up one and then a 20% cooldown on him. I don't know, she's just target practicing with me or something. You told your friend that I have Unbreakable. Yeah, oh yeah, she already knew actually. She saw your perk. Well, what does she want to do? Cause just do whatever. Anything's fine. <laughs> She's going to pick me up again. I feel like she's got nurses calling. Huntress definitely has some kind of aura reading. Man, she keeps hitting me with those hatchets. Oh, she's slugging for 4k. That's what my friend said. I, I knew it. I can't stand these type of players. I think she's on the generator I was on. I think I'm gonna unbreakable up.
Yeah, you shouldn't have died because we probably could have done this. Like we're down to one generator. We're making it work for it at least. She's hooking her because she hasn't been hooked. She's just gonna camp her. <laughs> I'm using corn blindness. Oh, she's killing herself. She's killing herself. Hatch. I found the hatch. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tea bagged and jumped in it. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Teabagged right in her face. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> uh. They brought bloody party streamers. I got 60,000 blood points. I 
They didn't have any aura reading. Wait, I'm sorry? They didn't have any aura reading at all. Well, considering their playstyle, I'd believe that actually, because they just want to one-hit camp people. As Huntress. <laughs> I I don't I'm sorry. My it's funny because my other friend said if you stayed we could have won. I I just I, I don't care to play those games. They said that too? Yeah, she told me. Yeah, that's what I said. I yeah, you did say that. I again I may I'm sorry if I did jeopardize it if it was winnable, but it's so boring. Hey, I got it some satisfaction so just teabagging. She came right up to me and I'm teabagging and I jump in. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you did at least. I felt like I, after all that, like her trying to slug and she, she didn't hook me. She hooked her. I don't even think she got any hooks on me. She knew Probably that not because she knew if you got hooked, she would have just you would have just killed yourself. Yeah. Going for the 4K. It's not that serious. Especially when you want to camp. Like, uh, Shardy didn't even get to play the game. I'm like, dude. Did any I of them watch that? Competitive, but it's the simple fact you're playing Huntress to camp. That that is so corny. Did that any of them so see the corny. tea bag at the end? Uh, only Shardy did. Uh, oh, he was watching. The tap, yeah, the tap was in lobby with me before it happened. Oh, she she killed herself on a hook and didn't stick around to see if I got the hatch or not. Uh, she had the same mentality. She, it's just the simple fact of how the game goes. No one wants to watch a huntress camping. They don't even want to get it. Like it's for me. She doesn't deserve to have me as a spectator. <laughs> she doesn't get that privilege. Well, she got the privilege of getting some tea bags at the hatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justice has been served. Maybe I'll make a YouTube short. Tea bag. <laughs> tea bag compilation. Much deserved.